What's up, hockey card fans? Welcome back to another episode of Hockey Cards Only. My name is John, I'll be your host, and today is going to be Mail Day Monday, so let's dive into it. All right, I hope everybody is having a good Monday. It's about noon. I had to wait for the mailman to show up, and uh, we got some mail from the last couple weeks. I haven't really dug into any of this, so we're going to go over. These are all from eBay, I believe, and I thought mo some of these are graded. I'm not even sure if any of them are. Most of them don't feel graded, and the one graded card um, I know I got we opened last episode, which was that Pavel Bure autograph from uh, PSA. So, okay, so let's just dive right into it. But first, um, I wanna show everybody, subscribe to the channel, you get put in this drawing for one of my best finds, which was a group of Patrick Waugh rookie cards, which we found at Goodwill, um, which I will show you um, some more ways that we hunt cards. That's kind of what this channel is gonna kind of turn into as a card hunting, card sorting, and like, kind of vintage cards. I look specifically for old cards, but um, for at least for hunting vintage stuff. So there we go. Once we hit a thousand, which is probably next year, um, we'll be doing this big drawing. But in the meantime, every 25 subscribers, I do like a mini giveaway, which we're due for one. And then I, uh, what I've been doing is I've got everybody's names here and then I uh, do the drawing. You get your name on the cup. So we're at 188, I believe. Let me go over to the channel. Yep, we're 188 as of today. We got some new subscribers over the last week, which has been awesome. So hi to everybody new. My name's John. Nice to meet you. And let's go back to the card bench. Let me move my camera a little bit. My setup is a little odd. My camera's like above me. So it's like, here's my hands. Uh, I'll probably move it kind of lower one of these days but for some of the stuff I do having this big open area is nice so okay so let's cut into this uh we'll say that one for the last I guess because it's the biggest one now some of these are Christmas gifts so I need to open them they're not mine they're for some other people all right check this out now Pavel Bure our number one player here on this channel actually is my uh, player I collect the most of this is the metal universe from 1996-97 it's a base card one of the more sought after cards in the set but when I can snag a Pavel Bure um, metal universe card this thing's these are just one of the coolest 90s sets out there that I am a big fan of so, let's set that one aside. Let's see what we have a note here. That's just a receipt. I'll set that over here. All right, let's keep on trucking. Now, I know there's some modern in here. So, if you're into modern, don't leave. And there's actually some non-hockey today because I had to get Christmas gifts. So this could be one of them. It is not. What do we have here? It's vintage. It is. Ooh, nice. I need some of these. This is Pat LaFontaine's rookie card, which is from 1984-85, same year as Steve Iserman. And I have a bunch of these, okay? This is probably my vastest group of vintage cards, is 84-85. And I only had a few Pat LaFontaine rookies. Sorry for the, the uh, autofocus here. Something I've been working on my channel is getting my autofocus to work a little bit better. There we go. You can see this one's not in perfect shape. So I can put it in one of my lower grade um, sets. But there it is. It's nicely centered. So that's cool. Let's flip it around. So there you can see first uh, NHL appearance, 83-84 season. So very cool. Something on the show that we pick up is uh, vintage. Uh, other things we do. So I do... Um, basically card hunting and i sort a bunch of cards like these are tops these are upper deck then the next thing i do is set building which off camera i'll take those and sort them numerically 
okay? And then I will, uh, on the next episode, we'll do a set build, which we pick the best card out of all the duplicates and we make a complete set. The very last thing I do is make, the, some of them I put them in binders, which I've done episodes where I do both set building and binders, but um, that's kind of what we do here. So let's get into this. Check this out. This is not hockey. This is Connor Cook. I believe it, I'm not, Prism is not something we usually have in hockey. They don't make, um, they used to make hockey cards, I believe. I like this black painter's tape. Hell yeah. Check this out. I'm not going to pull it up now. So this is uh, my girlfriend's kid's favorite player. He played for Michigan State. Uh, they're big Michigan State fans. So Connor Cook autograph. What better way to get the kids into collecting cards than this we found on the last episode. So they're each going to get a uh, Connor Cook rookie and kind of like the OPG Platinum kind of stuff, even though that's Donruss. But I think that's what this is comparable to. Um, and then this, I don't know if it's, let me see if this is actually his rookie. Yeah, this is his rookie. Talks about him being drafted and there's no NHL stats. So this is the Panini kind of like a rookie auto, I guess. Pretty cool. So I'm going to set those over here. <clears throat> you guys like my America jersey? I wore it for, uh, I don't know, I'm in America. Half of you guys are in Canada which is cool. I'm not too far from Canada. I'm in Michigan, so we're like three hours away, maybe. All right, here we go. That's why I wear my America jersey. Tyler Bertuzzi Young Guns card. Now, I'm near Detroit. This would be my home team, and he's one of their star players right now, and he's in the media a lot, so I figured, heck, let's pick up his Young Guns. Let me try to get this to autofocus. Now, this card, uh, let me give you a pricing. I've been watching the pricing greatly on this Young Guns card. Okay. Now, when I bought this four weeks ago, as you can see, it's got an itty-bitty nick, I think, in the top edge. Or that's just white in the card. I'm not sure. I'm satisfied with the, uh, with the quality of it. So, when I bought this, I think I paid 20 bucks, and they were spiking in the 25 range. Then he got sick and was out, I think, for two weeks. And his card price plummeted to around 15 to 10. So I, I think there's a second one in here because I know I bought two. I got one really cheap, like 10 shipped. So his values have gone down. So if you're interested in Tyler Bertuzzi Young Guns, this is kind of the time to maybe look into his stuff because he has been gone for a moment. But I believe he's already playing. Um, they're getting ready, I think, to shut down the league. I mean, the Canucks game was postponed, postponed the other night. Uh, and like half of the teams are missing like six players, I guess. So if you're paying attention to modern hockey, which I've been starting to follow, um, yeah, they're probably getting ready to do another shutdown maybe, so that's too bad. So let's look at our next eBay purchase. This is for the PC. Another Pavel Bure SPX with the hologram in there. This is, I believe, the base. Nothing too special. It's just a wicked awesome card. <clears throat> and I'm picking these up for like a dollar, two dollars off of eBay, where I can get them pretty cheap. Now, I'm going to, uh, I'll put this here. We're going to do a ComC order, C O M C. Uh, I believe every two weeks is what my goal is for the channel. I want one day a week, we go over to Comsi, and I'll have some stuff in the shopping cart that I'm getting ready to buy. And we'll go over that stuff for like 20 minutes, and I'll make the order. And then it takes a month to get the cards in. So what I want to do is like every other week, I make a Comsi order, and it's going to be like $25. So this is a $50 a month commitment. Okay, but on the off weeks, I'll open the box that came in, you know, in the mail. So those won't be regular mail days. They'll be specific Comsi orders that we did um, on like specific rookies or quantity cards. On eBay, you can't generally pick up cards in high quantity. You can, but it's rare that 
you can go through there and get them really cheap and get 10 of them. And that might be something I want to try on ComC. So, all right. So here is one of our next Detroit Red Wing cards, it looks like. And picking up some of these on, like I said, eBay. But the more little cards like this, these are like the $5 range card. This is Larkin's Opeachy Platinum Marquee Rookie. It says Beckett value $10. It might have gone up, might have gone down since they wrote that. Um, I didn't pay $10 for this. But I didn't have a Larkin rookie whatsoever. And this one, that top edge, let me put my hands around it. That seems to help. Oh, that top edge is basically fine. It's the top loader, I believe, that distorts that top edge once it gets into like this range. So there she is. Dylan Larkin, he got a, uh, look, he went to Michigan. That's awesome. I, I for some reason knew that, but, um, and then we had uh, Bertuzzi went to Grand Rapids. So that's like a half an hour to an hour for me. Probably an hour, okay. If I go north, I've never, but it's at, they play at Van Andel Arena. So I think that's like a quick 45 minute trip um to go see the griffins grand rapids griffins play anyways let's keep on moving i'm gonna save that one for yeah larkin's uh young guns can't quite afford that so we settled for the opg platinum all right what do we have here some i don't want to even get into whatever that is this is, all right, Pavel Bure, Leaf Limited. Pretty common card, but it's very shiny. And I only have, I think, one or two of these. And again, I picked this up on the cheap. There is one of these that is, uh, like, limited to 5,000, and it is a different color. We can see I'm just picking up some foil for uh, Pavel Bure. This isn't even an insert card, though. So, I think I paid... A dollar shipped up somewhere really not too high for that one. Some of them can get way up there. Pavel Burry cards are almost priced like Lemieux and Patrick Waugh. Maybe not quite that much in that era, but 93, 94, 95 stuff. It can, he can get up there. Well, well let's put him in the Mark Messier category. Steve Eiserman, Mark Messier. He's not quite Gretzky. Well, not, definitely not Gretzky priced obviously but they are up there um yeah so let's get into some modern now here is another rookie i wanted to grab which was troy terry he's having a fairly good season and uh his young guns was going way way up in price which again i couldn't afford and these were uh on auction on ebay together and it was a good i think they were auction it could have been by now i don't know um, but Troy Terry, marquee rookie in OPG Platinum. So he's somebody we were watching and somebody I wanted to pick up. So there we go, two of them. Let's look at his, uh, you guys want to look at the back of this card for two seconds. We'll go over him. So anyways, it says he is from uh, Denver, Colorado. He has been around since uh, the 17-18 season. What else can we find on here that's interesting? Not too much. So anywho, Troy Terry, Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I found that information on the Sports Investor app, if you guys are interested, which I'm sure you guys have. So, oh, check this out. Okay, so here's our next box open, or uh, mail day card. This was something I found and it was, uh, Sergey Fedorov around here is a legend. So I have a lot of friends that their main card or their main rookies are going to be Sergey. And that's who they believe is the, the ultimate of the 90s. And I'm like, no, sir. Check out my Pavel Perry collection. Man, this is not focusing. I'm sorry, everybody. I think it's because the, uh, the outside here is still focused. Anyways, so this is the 92 Topps Gold card. Come oh, on, maybe I gotta go all the way up like this. 
There we go. Anyways, I picked this up, I think, for $2 shipped, which was a steal. And it's a little faded. It's on center fairly well. You can see it's been out of the pack <clears throat> for multiple years, though. It's not like pack fresh by any means. But somebody I know will probably want it. I have two or three of this specific Topps Gold card. I like Topps Gold. That's kind of like some of the really awesome stuff from when I was a kid. You couldn't find a lot of this. This would have been like a someone's higher end card in their whole collection back then. So anyways, Sergey, let's set him down with the uh, other Red Wings. I only have a few left, so we're almost done here. Slice this up the top. Who do we have next? All right, here's a Gretzky for you. Now this is, uh, there's two Gretzkys you can get in this Premier Gold. There's one with him in a black jersey. Let me get this up here and focus again. Sorry, everybody. Okay, so this is the more sought after version. There's black jersey and white jersey. And I found this a few weeks ago on auction. And these, this is one of the, According to Baseball Card Investor Dealer, that channel, he's got like 40,000 subscribers. This was one of the most sought after 90s cards, I guess pre-94. He was like 1994, 93, 94 stuff, I believe is the year of this, 93. So there's like an Opeachy and then there's a Tops. This one says Tops. I believe they both say Tops, but um, the other one says something slightly different. And they're different sets altogether. You have uh, like Opeachy Premier, okay? And then you have like Tops Premier, kind of like, at least I'm pretty sure. It was confusing, and the back of the cards don't really specify. So it's like, or the logo doesn't specify. It only, it's like Tops, or it says printed in Canada. It doesn't say Opeachy. I think it just says printed in Canada. Anyways, I have a lot of this card of... I don't have a lot of this card. I think I only have one other of them, but I have a lot of the other Premier Tops gold, and they're gonna need that uh, to complete a set. I'm big on completing little insert sets like that, especially 90s ones where there's a whole bunch of them. Or I should say, I think there's only 12 in each set of Tops gold. Okay, so there's 24 altogether, but that's two Gretzky's, two Mario Lemieux's, two Patrick Waz, and then kind of a spread of everybody else. So it's kind of goofy. I've, do, I've reviewed those earlier on my channel, just something I we keep an eye out for. So I don't know what's in this one. Let's keep going. A little history lesson for the 90s, I guess. All right, so, oh yeah, this one. Okay, this card, everybody, this is cool, but I wanted to review it real quick. So it says 97. Then this is not his actual rookie card, obviously. It's printed 97. Acquired to Dallas, um, 95. For some reason, I thought his rookie year was just a few years earlier, because I have that SPX. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry, everybody. I don't mean to leave you. Um, this, I thought, was his rookie. And this says 95. So if this is 97, then I'm not sure. But uh, this was... <clears throat> I don't know. I should have bought this on Comsi. This is the card listed on Comsi for less than I bought it for on eBay. So that made me go, man, I just need to, like, check before I buy a card on eBay and then start just adding it to carts on Comsi. And then when I'm ready to do a $5 shipment, just place the order then. So I think that's another, that's a strategy, everybody. Like um, most of the more advanced card collectors, I'm a novice. You may beginner slash novice. Um, I'm just picking up this stuff here, you know. The more advanced guys probably already know about Comsi and already know a lot more tricks to the trade than I do. So I'm just sharing, as a newbie, one of the earlier things I learned was do both eBay and ComC. Because you can get, you need to at least check the price. The card will probably be there. And it might be like, I think this, I paid $4 shipped. It was like, it came from Canada. So it was like $3.50 shipping. And then I think I paid a dollar for it. 
If I would have just thrown it on ComC for a dollar, I wouldn't have to pay the three shipping, and I would have been able to get two or three of them. So that's just how you got to look at it um, on those two different types of orders. On the other end, when you have a $20 card, like the Tyler, uh, yeah, not Todd, Tyler Bertuzzi Young Guns, a $20 card, I was able to score one for six or eight because of the auctions on eBay. So anyways, let's keep cracking into here. Here is a ooh, insert of Pavel Bure again. This is the Pinnacle, it's like 95 year, it's called the Rink Collection. So I have 15 or 20 Rink Collections and I was like, well, of these inserts, and I didn't have the Pavel Bure one and it was on eBay, so again. A little one or two dollar snag something that's kind of hard to come by but not terribly these aren't terribly hard to come by um but to get them in Pavel Bure is kind of just they're not there every day you can't go get 10 of them all right let's start getting into these last two all right everybody get this video over with I'll stop blabbing at you what do we have here all right here's some cool stuff this is the other, my girlfriend has two kids, so I had to get two. This one happened to be the patch card I found. If there were more patch cards, this thing's awesome though. Check that out, it's a two color patch with this autograph. Now if it was Michigan State, they would have loved this even more, but this is still pretty rad. And it's individually numbered at 99. That is awesome. So really cool Christmas present. I'll put that with the other Connor Cook. There should be a rookie card. I have ordered two of this. I hope it's not in here, because I hope there's something else in here that I thought was going to surprise us, being such a big bubble wrap envelope. But I do know we have another 99 cent one of those, so let's see what's in here. Oh, this is not. This is some. Um... All right. Every episode, you guys get a little more Pavel Bure than the episode before. Today, this is a review. Here is his... It's not quite his rookie card. This is his... Um, which I picked this up, too, because it's cool. It's like his throwback rookie. I got some extra top loaders here. Check that out. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a... If it was his actual Young Guns, it's like a 5 or $7 card. In 94, they made a tribute. 95, my bad. And they've done this with, uh, and this year specifically, I think this with uh, five or six different Young Guns. So this is just another card I pick up. It's a cheaper version of it. It's not a version at all. It's 1995's throwback of a 1990s card. The front, you virtually cannot tell. So, I have bought these on eBay thinking it's a uh, actual Young Guns, and they don't know. They don't even know it's not a real Young Gun sometimes because they don't know anything about 95 Upper Deck, and they're just, here's the card. So sometimes you get burnt, just so everybody knows, when you buy a Pavel Bure rookie card, make sure it doesn't have this back. This is not his real rookie. This is his 1995, uh, see, fifth anniversary right there throwback so i'll check i'll check to make sure we didn't get hosed on this on my last one but um i don't remember buying any of these I've, and if i do buy these raw now i am very patient and i wait for them to sneak through at like 250 because they will they will you just have to wait for them and sometimes there's people looking for them and they just five five and twelve dollars all the time and then you wait a couple months and it just that Tuesday they're down and you can snag a card cheap. So that's why eBay hunting is important. Just to always, I mean, that's my part of the hobby too, is I keep an eye on eBay for deals. And then um, I'll tell you some other areas in a future episode of where I get like my bulk cards uh, for hunting, if you guys are into that. So I'll make an ultimate secret episode. That's what I was planning the other day was, I'm gonna tell them where I get this stuff once. Before I do, I'm gonna tell everybody, subscribe to my channel. I'm giving you one of my best secrets. And then, uh, you know, hopefully get a bunch of subscribers from that and I give away one of my best secrets, but it'll be worth it. So that'll be cool. Anyways, subscribe guys. Uh, the next video I do is a drawing. So subscribe right now. 
because this is not live. By the time you see this, if you subscribe, you'll probably be in the next drawing, uh, which is a 175. Okay, so it says 188 now. If you're watching this and you get in on it, that's cool. You get you get on in every drawing. So there's a, a drawing like every couple weeks. So talk to you soon. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.